Hello, viewers. Welcome back. So this is part nine of our series of session on Tally's Release 3.0. And we are discussing the GST module under Release 3.0 of Tally Prime. Now, this session or this video is very important and critical for all of you to understand the basic design principle of the GST module. So once you understand how the behavior of GST calculation and computation happens in Tally Prime, then you can leverage the feature of GST configuration based on your organization's practice. So let's go to Tally and understand uh, important concept of design principle of GST module, which is Basically, we are going to cover the hierarchy and inheritance aspect of it. Today, let us understand yet another configuration of GST features. Under F11 feature, after enabling the option of set, alter, company, GST rate and other details, once we enable this and press enter, we are into this screen. We understood few features under F12 configuration. Now, when I press F12 configuration, we have various configurations here. We understood the option of enabling a reverse charge calculation, both from the selling and buying dealers perspective. For those of you who have not seen the earlier videos, below in the description, I have given the link. The next option of eligible for input tax credit, also we understood with both examples from a dealer who is not completely eligible for claiming input tax credit on all their inputs and also for other dealers where certain type of goods or services they are not eligible to claim input tax credit with the use case scenarios. Again, the link is provided below in the description for those who have missed those videos. Today, we shall learn a very important aspect of design principle of Tally's GST module of hierarchy and inheritance. Under additional configuration, we have this first option set source for GST rate detail in transaction. What happens when we set it as yes? Before we go into the configuration, if you recall in my first session, I had discussed about the setting up of calculation of GST in Tally Prime. Quickly, let me just walk through it. You can see the diagram here on the screen where once a GST rate is set up at the company level, it will automatically inherit to the lower levels of other inventory and accounting masks. This was the design in the earlier GST module prior to release 3.0. Now, how does the calculation happens? While calculating GST in the voucher, Tally will walk backwards from the bottom of the hierarchy. That is, in the voucher, Tally will look for any rate specified in the accounting ledger. That is the lower hierarchy in the structure. If any rate is mentioned in the ledger master, Tally will apply that rate for computing tax. If no rate has been specified in the ledger master, then it will move to the accounting group and look for the rate. If no rate is specified in the accounting group, then Tally will walk to the stock item and look for the rate. If no rate is specified in the stock item, then it will walk upwards to the stock group and look for the rate. Again, if no rate is specified in the stock group, it will walk to the company configuration and look for the rate. If the rate is specified at the company level, it will consider that rate and compute tax. Now in release 3, the user has the choice to set the nature of hierarchy and inheritance. This is what we will be understanding in this session. So let us now enable this option, set source for GST rate details in transaction. We'll set it to yes, press Y, press enter and save this configuration by pressing control A. Now you will notice that on the right hand side, the, under the additional configuration, the source of GST rate detail in transaction is set here. And by default, this is going to be ledger if we don't enable under the F12 configuration. So let us come down here and click here and then we will understand. I hope you will now realize the hierarchy 
of inheritance. So when we select ledger, what tally is going to do is it will take the rate specified in the ledger for computing GST. If no rate is specified in the accounting ledger, then it will go to the accounting group. Again, if no rate is specified, then it will go to the stock item. If no rate specified in the stock item, it will go to the stock group and the company. So this was the previous inheritance configuration. Accounting ledger, accounting group, stock item, stock group and company which we saw in the diagram. Now you have an option to set the reverse inheritance. That means you can now say if you select stock item, then you are instructing tally not to look for the rate in the ledger. Even though if the rate is specified in the ledger, you are asking tally to ignore the rate. So this is the preference of hierarchy that you are setting. Irrespective of whether you have entered the rate in this accounting ledger, you are asking tally to consider the rate that is specified in the stock item. If no rate is specified in the stock item, then it will go to the stock group. If no rate is specified in the stock group, then it will go to the ledger and look for the rate. But whereas in the first case, at the first instance, it is going to look for the rate in the ledger. And if rate is specified in the ledger, it is going to apply that rate. In this case, it is going to walk through the third level to find out the rate in the ledger then it will walk to the accounting group and finally it will walk to the company level and apply the rate so what we will do we will create a sales ledger we will also create a stock item with two different rate to understand the behavior of this inheritance and hierarchy if you notice here at the company level the rate that is specified is 18 percent so let's first take the example of ledger enter and let us save this control a save this control a and let's create one stock item and one ledger master. So we'll create a sales ledger, sales at 12%, enter under sales account, inventory values are affected, GST is applicable. The HSN for the time being, we will say you just inherit from the company level. That is what it, it is showing you what has been configured at the company level. Let's leave this for the time being as it is. The important aspect here is, now since you are going to change the rate of GST, since you are saying that you want 12% calculation to happen, you will say specified detail, you will select specified detail here, enter taxable and you say IGST is 12%, enter and tally will automatically take CGST and his GST as six and six, save this. Now let's go to the stock item creation, enter. We are going to say, now again, if you notice here, it is inherited from the company configuration. So we leave the HSN as it is, come down here and we will say, I want to specify detail here, taxable, and you say 28% and we save this. Quickly, F11, we have set the inheritance to happen, ledger to accounting group to stock item. So now in the ledger, we have specified 12% and in the stock item, we have specified 28% whereas at the company level we have specified 18%. Let us pass a transaction and observe what happens with this configuration. We select the party as customer. We are going to select sales at 12%. The item we are going to select is stock item at 28% GST. Quantity is 10. We will say 1000 is the rate so that we can mentally see the calculation. 10,000 enter and I'm going to select CGST, enter 600. So now on 10,000, since we have set the hierarchy that look for the rate in the ledger, it is picked up the 12% rate and charged 6% for CGST. SGST it will charge 6%. Now if you want to see how the calculations happened, on the right hand side, we have this option called related report and then you can select GST tax analysis, enter and press Alt F5 to see the detail. And we will see here, even though the stock item we have configured the rate as 28%, tally is taken the source of GST detail from the ledger, that is the sales at 12%. The HSN source is from the company level. Item value is 10,000 and it is applied 6% and 
six percent you can escape and we can save this voucher now let's reverse this preference of inheritance so we will go to f11 feature come down here and say set alter gst other detail and we will come here we are now instructing tally to take the hierarchy root of stock item stock group and then ledger so we select this it's going to ask you what is the effective date we can say effective date is from 1st of april or 1st of may whatever is the date and save this let's make another transaction customer i'm going to select sales ledger at 12 percent we're going to select the same stock item which is 28 percent same 10 numbers 1000 10000 and now i'm going to select cgst enter and observe that now tally is calculated at the rate of 14 percent which is the first inheritance in the hierarchy that we have specified enter sgst enter if you remember the keyboard shortcut of tax analysis which is alt a you can just press alt a it will automatically open the gst analysis press alt f5 and now if you notice here the source of gst rate detail tally is picked up from the stock item which is 28 percent on assessable value of 10,000, it is charged 14 percent cgst and 14 percent sgst it's very important for you to understand how you want the behavior of tax calculation to happen for your organization so remember under f11 you have the option of selecting the nature of inheritance i hope you would have understood the design principle that we just now saw in tally and i hope that you are clear about how you can leverage these configuration or these settings for your organization based on your GST requirement of your operations. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.